Welcome Libra. We're going to be looking at what it is that you need guidance with right now using the Avalon Magic Cards, the Wild Child Oracle Deck, and these cards that I don't know the name of because they were given to me um, years ago with a guidebook and yeah the name of the actual deck wasn't in there um so yeah anyway so these are the these cards that's the name of them okay libra we're going to get into this i feel like i need to say to you whenever you see this reading libra is when it is right for you and if it doesn't resonate with you just go check out your other placements any other placements of your chart or if there's a title that resonates with you go, go look at it because there might be a message in there okay right so libra three cards for libra please just like that and just like that there was three cards okay i'm not looking at what they say but let's have a look at the pictures first and then I'll read to you what it says because I want to see what I get so this guy he looks like um I, I was about to say he looks like he's going into battle but it actually looks he looks pretty worn and tethered so I feel like he's already had the battle and he looks pretty defeated actually but he's still on his horse and he's not all cut up There's something about growth here but I'm not sure what it's kind of like his armor has been enough enough to protect him but he's he's still really worn out interesting and he's not on the defense because i can see his shield at just at the back here i don't know if you can see that see there i'm pretty sure that must be his shield and he hasn't got that there ready to to fight so he's got his defenses down but he does have a sword there just in case interesting anyway what does it say on your soul's journey you need to lose yourself so you can find yourself again Follow your dreams. Wow. That's powerful. That's power packed, man. That's really power packed, right? Okay, the other two cards we're going to look at as we go along. So, yeah, give me two cards for Libra for this card, please. For this deck. <laughs> okay. Thanks. That was easy. Okay, so this one here the tree remembers. On your soul's journey, you need to lose yourself so you can find yourself again. The tree remembers, so it's sort of like the soul remembers, right? The soul remembers the journey of lifetimes. Not just this lifetime, but those had prior to this lifetime. The soul remembers, and it's kind of like all these these ones standing around the tree potentially could represent um, each lifetime that you have had, maybe. Like your energy is infused in it. <sighs> yeah, interesting. Let's have a look in, deeper into this. The tree remembers. Two cards for the tree remembers for Libra, please. The tree remembers. Oh, we've got two cards. That was like, well, five of, okay, the five of pentacles and the nine of pentacles. But it's in reverse. I don't usually read reversals, but I feel like, like I'm just getting, okay. Um, Some of you may feel shut out. You may feel like you've been pushed out, right? Um, Like you don't matter potentially some of you um or or just feel like you've kind of like done all this work and um 
and it's it doesn't count it hasn't counted for anything um and it's sort of like you've lost um it's like you had dreams and you were building something and you were headed towards something and then everything went cold like it's actually like getting this cold shoulder type of thing um but i want you to know that it's not forgotten maybe not by a particular person or people but it's sort of like it's sort of like this is so weird i feel like the universe is watching and the universe is taking notes in a sense i don't know if the universe is the right word to use in this scenario but let's just say the universe for argument's sake and it's like that karma it's like the god of karma <laughs> if you like taking notes like oh yes libra has done this and libra has done that and there's this going on and look what's happened here it's kind of like that the other thing i want to say is that um with follow your dreams that i know that it can be really rough if you feel shut out or feel like something hasn't worked out um or that you've been given the cold shoulder and um i don't mean to minimize it by saying this okay because when i hear this sometimes i think that doesn't help okay but i do want to say that things happen for a reason and um although in saying that that doesn't mean to say that you should be happy or you know like it's all right don't worry about it like it happened for a reason you know it's not about that i do want to acknowledge how difficult this is for you and has been potentially um for you it's just that i want you to tap into the dreams that you have for your life and um and you know maybe the nine of pentacles was this dream that you had and you feel like it's lost but it's not you can still head towards that dream but whoever you were heading towards the dream with was not the right person or the right people okay even though it felt like it and it seemed like it the dream is meant for you okay and the tree knows the tree knows what the dream is the tree knows where it's headed the tree remembers the storms but the tree keeps growing and that's what you need to do is keep growing okay light let your light shine let your light shine the tree also in a forest grows towards the light and that's what i feel like needs to happen here for you libra is that you let your light shine and what will happen is when you let your light shine i just want to warn you of this is that you're going to attract all sorts of interesting weird and wonderful beings right because what what goes to the light moths bugs you know all sorts of things go towards the light right because the light is a nurturing tool tool might not be the right word to use but it's nurturing so there's going to be you know you're going to need to sieve through 
these bugs and insects and people who aren't the best for you. And then every now and then you'll come across people who match your lights, match your vibration, right? Yeah, see, because right now you feel like you're having to protect yourself and keep yourself from anyone seeing this light, um, but you still need to shine it to reach your dream. One more card for light. Because your, your treasure is your light. And the devil. Interesting. This protection is becoming unhealthy. This this need to oh, this fear of stepping out with your light is not serving you. It's not not allowing you to grow. And I know it's scary, and I know it can be very feel very you can feel vulnerable doing that, but yeah. Because you see here, the Nine of Pentacles is upside down, right? And the tree's growing the wrong way around. And it's sort of like, <laughs> that's what's happening with you. It's like you're growing in the wrong direction. Mm, that's, that's interesting. Okay, so let's have a look at this card here. We have these two lovebirds here. Out in nature, having a bit of a nookie. There's this mind-body connection here. And I feel like this is connecting with souls. Um, for some of you, obviously, this could be a relationship. But I'm noticing the daisies here. So it's definitely a match. It's a match. Let's have a look. Love always supports you and aligns you with your true purpose. Love it. Yes, it totally does, right? So, okay, so given that, if you are afraid of letting your light shine because you feel this need to protect yourself, if you fully step into the love, then how can anything hurt you? And I know, I know that you think, wow, well, you know, you, well, you might be feeling like, well, I've been hurt in the past. I have been burned. Yes. Yep. That is part of it. Because look at the light. What's surrounded by the light? Fire. Because this type of energy tries to put the fire out, right? Because it's shining too brightly. But you always rise up from the ashes because that's who you are. And um, yeah, love will always support and align you with your dreams. Okay, so two cards for this card. Love always supports you and aligns you with your true purpose. And your true purpose is your dreams. Okay. Okay, okay, so we've got gentleness here, love it, yes, yep, 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 this shows, this shows how <sighs> there's been times where you have been utterly shattered, completely and utterly, and the pieces that you've had to put back together, you know, and it's like you never really are the same. What I want to say about that is that although you're never the same again, could you be even better? And that's not to, this, to say that you weren't better before. But what if it made it more interesting? 
two cards for gentleness and and honestly yeah be gentle with yourself right libra really gentle this this is what you need not being harsh not scolding yourself um gentle step by step gentle okay not rushing in and jumping into the deep end just dabbling your toes little bit by little bit one toe then you know even if you have to do one toe at a time right okay so we've got the lovers okay love this i love this that has come up here gentleness like you would with a lover you know it, or anyone actually if anyone's been through a really difficult time and you're there nurturing and supporting them this is what you need to give to yourself here this is you really having your own back if this is not to do with the relationship this is you having your own back and even if it is to do with the relationship same dealio okay um yeah we also have the princess of swords <laughs> and i feel like this is you learning to communicate here libra learning to communicate clearly and concisely because um with this being the princess there's a lot that needs to be learned um, and this could even be in relationships this could be about what you need okay learning to communicate your needs very important and be clear on that not in a way that drops a subtle hint or in a way that's like oh I, I think I might need you know this or um, it might be like, you know, it's it's kind of like, for example, dabbling the toes like, right, when we're talking about that, you might be like really feeling like because you've been walking the hard path, for example, you might want a foot rub, right? And so you could say, oh man, that path was really hard to walk, thinking that someone's going to go, oh, do you need a foot rub? But the message isn't clear and then okay that didn't work okay so my feet are so sore um your need is i would like a foot rub please that's how you communicate your needs okay so you can see whatever it is in your life that was just a you know silly example but yeah um okay so opportunity is the next card we have here okay so there's obviously ah i see so there's an opportunity potentially for you to step into a situation where you can shine your light and you're afraid you're going to fall between the cracks and crash and burn, man. Um, yeah, you're really, really scared. You're, it's, it's unnerving for you. And the leap is, feels just too scary. So remember, love always supports you and aligns you with your true purpose. Doesn't mean it's going to be easy. Doesn't mean it's not going to be scary. But it means that you'll always be supported by love, right? Those around you who loves you, you who loves you, right? First and foremost. Okay, so two of wands. Yeah, this is a crossroads. A crossroads of which direction to go in. And you would rather sit at the crossroads, I feel like. Um, yeah. You're going to have an opportunity to shine your light. And, and it's kind of like you have this dream of doing that. But then when it comes to step into this dream, it freaks you out. It scares the living daylights out of you. And then we have the princess of hearts. Right? So this is you learning. To love yourself enough to accept the challenge, to accept the opportunity. It's like, look at her and she's like, hmm, and how do I do that? Where is that written? 
right? It's written in your actions that you value yourself enough to allow yourself to have these opportunities, no matter how scared you are, okay? No matter if you trip and fall, what happens, Libra? You get back up, you rise from the ashes, and you carry on like you've always done. Yeah. You go for it. That's what you do. Yep. And the journey is always, you know, as we know, journeys, there's always good times, there's always bad times. 100%. No matter what path you choose to travel, there's always that. Right? Um, but you learn and you grow along the way and you grow in the correct direction. But if you stay at a standstill, you're not growing anywhere. You're not making any progress. Okay? So, yeah. Look at this. Her resting here like sleeping beauty. And this could be... And she's got this scroll in her hand here and I feel like... It's the scrolls that the two princesses are, are looking at. It's like, what's in the scroll? So I want to say about this that rest, yes, is necessary, but don't get stuck in the restful period, okay? Don't get stuck there. And also, go with the flow, right? Go with the flow um, of where the tide takes you. But she's busy sleeping here and not seeing that. There's a whole castle behind her. I don't even know if she realises that she's actually a princess. <laughs> um, yeah. Anyway, what does this say? It is in the silent pause that we find the answers to our questions. It is in the breath that we anchor the soul. Okay. Yeah, so it's like... You find the answers, so you've got your dreams and you, you may need to go within to find out what direction to go in to reach those dreams. And it's in the breath that we anchor the soul. So it's kind of like the breath is like the movement, like the breath, you know, is like the, the pulsating of life. A bit like the heart, but the breath is representative of life being of life existing right so if you want your dreams to actually take form you need to breathe life into them yeah 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 that's cool okay so two two cards for this card please well fine where is it landed? Over there. I can't even see what it is. One more card for this card, please. I don't like that. Yep, that's it. Okay, pick this up. Okay, I stopped that clock right on 23.23. So, yeah. Anyway, that was a bit buzzy. But I feel like it's kind of like saying that, yeah. That's exactly in alignment, right? Like all this is in alignment of who you are and where you're headed and what you need to do. So yeah. 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 I love this. I love this because this is exactly it, right? Breathing air yeah, into your dreams to give it life, right? Because what happens when someone like isn't breathing? We need to, you know, give them breath to help them breathe, to get everything pumping again. And I feel like this is what needs to happen for you because there's this transformation here that's ready to take form and you need to breathe air into it, okay? Not wait for it to happen, but you need to make it happen. Yeah. Sorry about the noise. Now we've got, um, like, it's rubbish day. So, yeah. Anyway, okay. Two cards for air for Libra, please. Two cards for ear for Libra. King of Hearts and the Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, okay. Okay. So this is you.
first of all, I feel like this is you creating boundaries. I'm sorry, let me show you these. Creating boundaries um, for yourself in regards to the bugs and the insects that get attracted to the light. Okay, first off. Um, and really looking at this, you know, what it is that you do want to grow and um, and whether it's truly what you want. Like really looking at, because I feel like for some of you, you're on a path um, and I get this sense of wrestle, restlessness um, and I'm not entirely sure it's, your true purpose yeah so something may need reassessing here or it could be that you're reassessing things um, to see what it is that you truly want um, in your life um, because like the king of hearts he he has no question he knows he knows what you know he wants in his life he doesn't um overspend his energy um, he doesn't pour everything he has into everyone else he knows how to limit that so that he's keeping enough for himself um, to make sure that he's always um, fueled up right he knows when to stop and replenish he knows um, his limits and he knows when he needs to step out of his comfort zone. Because he has enough love for himself. That he knows that by doing that, that's going to help him grow. He didn't get to be king for nothing. He knows how to do all that stuff. And so, yeah. And if he's on a path that doesn't serve him, or he has been on a path that doesn't serve him, he'll go, I'm not putting any more energy into that. I'm going to redirect myself. Okay. Or he might go, I'm putting all my energy into this because I see um, the fruits of the labor will pay off. So yeah, you'll I think you'll know. I think you'll know the difference. Um, the other thing I want to say is that um you know, sometimes right before we're about to have a breakthrough, it can see the seem the hardest and like nothing's growing. So just be mindful of that too. But I think you'll know deep inside, you know, that you take that silent pause and the answers will come. Okay, and then you, you take action. Okay, so the last card here is reach. Yes, reach for the light, right? This is what I was talking about before, wasn't I, about the forest? I don't know if it was you or not. But anyway. Um, reach for the light. Reach for the light within, right? Because that's what the trees do in the forest. They grow towards the light. Did I say that before? I don't even know. I can't remember. Anyhow. Um, two cards for reach, please. Two cards for reach for Libra. And I feel like, you know, whatever your dream is, this is this is you reaching for it, right? This is something that you need to reach for. Okay, we've got the Nine of Swords and we've got the Queen of Hearts. Queen of Hearts and the King of Hearts here. Wow. Love always supports and aligns you with your true purpose. Okay, so... Um, if you're stressing about something and you want to go for it, but it's causing you stress, get into this space of love, Libra. Okay, into why are you doing it? You know, what are you doing it for? Who are you doing it for? Ultimately, it should be you. You know, but, you know, there could be other people that you're doing it for, right? Um, yeah, and, um, and, and I want to say about this, let love lead the way. Because love will always guide you, follow your heart, 
your heart doesn't lie okay your mind will play all sorts of tricks on you but your heart ultimately is where your destiny lays so yeah have faith in yourself libra and know that your light um will lead the way in the darkest of times okay so yeah okay libra i'm gonna leave that with you take care of your beautiful selves see you bye bye